Greetings to all fellow Sega Game Gear collectors and video game collectors in general. Welcome. I am the Sega Game Gear God. In my videos, I'm going to be going through the containers that I have filled with Sega Game Gear games, accessories, systems, store displays, prototypes, all of that uh, for the last 24 years. And I think it's time that I go through them to figure out what I own and don't own. So what lies beneath these lids, a lot of it's going to be a surprise to me. A lot of them are in plastic baggies or wrapped in bubble wrap. I'm going to be removing those because I invested in fancy clear storage I'll say mini containers, boxes, storage boxes, UV, all that. And then on the shelves behind me, as I go through the games and put them in their clear new boxes, I will be alphabetizing them and dividing them up by US release, European release, and Japanese release. So without further ado, this is container number one, part one. I will go through probably 25, 35 games, and uh, at that point, I will cut the video because if I continue to go through the whole container, this video will be way too long and will get boring. So this is part one of however many parts it takes for me to get through this container. Once container one is done, container two, three, four, five, all the way up to I think 36 or 38 around there. So a lot of stuff to go through. So let's start. Starting off, we have a classic by Arena, which is Mortal Kombat. And for some reason, it is not in the box with the manual. The manual, the game, the insert, great game. Next, we have another one that I have not seen come up on eBay or other sites in a while. And that would be Double Dragon. Because you mess with the best and you die like the rest. Complete in the box, of course. Another fun beat em up. Next, we will see what lies beneath the bubble wrap that would be Panzer Dragon Mini this game's I think expensive now it's been a long time since I had to find that one seek that one out and by the way all of the bubble wrap and plastic bags will be recycled so as you see them get cast to the side, don't think they're going to landfill. I'm going to be recycling them. Captain America and the Avengers. Marvel Comics. Uh-oh. I should take this one out of the clear plastic box. Power Drive. This game is very sought after by collectors. And I don't know if it's just Sega Game Gear collectors or video game collectors, but this game recently went for quite a bit of money. This was put out by US Gold. So you have the insert little advertisement that came with the game. Of course, the instruction booklet. The, is it a warranty card? I believe so. For US Gold Limited. Of course, the game in the little plastic baggie that it came in and then the cardboard tray. So yeah, Power Drive is a uh, hard to find game. And uh, people, a lot of people are looking for it. 
So there's one. This game is heavy and I don't know why. It is World Cup Soccer 94. Another game by US Gold. Oh, the instruction booklet is massive. So we have the game, and yes, it has the hanger tag, the hanger cardboard. So if you're going to hang it on a rack, it has that it's just tucked inside. A very thick instruction manual. Another mail away registration card. And then, of course, an official licensed product of the World Cup USA 94 in its clamshell with the cardboard insert. I don't remember that one being so heavy. What else do we have? I wrap these quite well. Desert Strike, Return to the Gulf, a game by Tengen. Kind of like that game. Empty bag. We have Spider Man by Flying Edge. I'm going to say that we'll assume these are complete in the box. If they're not, I will definitely show you. Uh, the ones that I have shown you the insides of is just to show that they are complete, complete with everything that it, they originally came with, especially like power drive. That internal paperwork is quite important to collectors. This one's a little bit beat up on the side here. I know I have more than just this one, but that's Beavis and Butthead. Music, television, MTV by Viacom. Wow, 1993. This game, as you can see by the extra safe bubble wrap job, was a challenge to find back in the day. I'm not sure if it's a challenge, as much of a challenge today as it was back then. And I know I have more than one of these, but F1 World Championship Edition. The game was, yeah, to find it in good shape was indeed a challenge to be had. But I found it and I have it. And it's been living in this container for probably over 13 years. I'm trying to think of all the times that I moved around and packed and repacked and put things in storage. And then I'm getting these containers out of the storage locker that I have been renting. And it's time for them to be gone through. MLBPA Baseball, Major League Baseball. This is a very common game by EA Sports very common almost as common again in my opinion as RBI 1994 if I was going to play a baseball game on Game Gear if it wasn't a bootleg or using the master converter it would probably be that game see something Japanese the Japanese titles I do not know and I will not pretend to know and I will not assassinate pronunciation of the games what I will do for instance this game if you know the exact title of this game the English version of this game the title you can put it down in the comments below because that way it would help me 
better organize and uh, alphabetize my Japanese Game Gear game collection. Here's a little one that I'm sure a lot of collectors have, Solitaire Poker. Basic game, but I think it's relatable to a lot of people. Let's see what else we have. I remember this being in the arcade and it being a big deal. And that would be NBA Jam Tournament Edition by Acclaim. like basketball games and things lighting on fire and jumping full court to make shots, that's a game for you. This is the Japanese version of Super Smash TV. And I know that I have a better, same game in better condition. I'm sure I'll come across it as I am digging. Tasmania. Fun Taztic Tasmanian action. Isn't that clever and brilliant? Perfect box. Super great shape. 1992. Ooh, this one made it into a old school pl container, plastic protective box. This was another one too, and I think people may still be hot after this game. Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. I see it come up now and again. And um, I know I have more than one of these, but this was another game that throughout my years of collecting was one that I had to stock to add to my collection. This one has a lot of bubble wrap on it. And if it is the game I think it is, I don't know why I put so much bubble wrap around it. Probably because I'm a huge Star Wars fan and this is Super Return of the Jedi. This is a pretty fun game. I enjoy this one. So it got extra special wrapping when I put this in this container by Black Pearl. That's my address, we don't need that. Uh, PO box is down below. If you have Sega Game Gear games or anything Sega Game Gear related that you don't want, send it to me. Or if you have anything that you think would be showing your interest in Sega Game Gear or your video game collection in general, send me something. And I will open it and film it and show the world. What is, oh, so many layers, good lord. Again, I am not going to kill the name of this game. Fellow collectors will understand that this is one of the Japanese games that is a bit more difficult to track down. And this is one of many Japanese games that I have, like a lot, probably too many. Let's see what else we have brewing beneath the surface. World Cup USA 94 by US Gold. Again with the hanger tag pushed down inside. It was probably never put out for sale or hung up on a rack or whatever you want to call it. Limited edition includes souvenir manual 
and wall chart. Isn't that exciting? Open a few more games here and then we will conclude. Not sure about this one. If you feel that I'm wrong in the rarity of some of these games or I have a game that I think is common, you think it's super hard to find, leave a comment. I would love to hear and receive feedback from fellow collectors and get some insight into their own, how they see collecting, what they collect, and uh, if some games are obscure or not, because I've been collecting a long time, so what I might think is a basic common game, other collectors might think they would really like that game in their collection. PGA Tour 96. Again, the hanger tag still in the box. Sealed by Black Pearl. 96 is pretty late in the lifespan of Sega Game Gear. Let's see. Very basic game. That would be Disney's Aladdin. This game is kind of beat, but um, I know that I have it in mint condition. Probably all collectors have this game in mint condition. And this is the non-Majesco uh, version. Majesco was the company that put out, re-released the Game Gear and a lot of Disney games, well, not a lot, but a few were done by Majesco and there's a difference in the quality and whatnot, but this is the non-Majesco Aladdin. I haven't seen this one pop up in a while. Uh, this is a sealed copy of James Pond, codename Robocod 2 by US Gold. Sealed. It's the price tag is well that's on the that's on the shrink wrap for the game because it's sealed. From KB Toy Store, $29.99. So somebody probably got this game and didn't want to play it. And somehow it ended up in this container. So many games to choose from. I'll do two more. And we'll call it for this first episode. Streets of Rage. A fun beat em up. Great condition, complete. Well, it's a little wrinkly on top. I'm not gonna just mislead you. But have no fear because I have Streets of Rage still sealed in the cellophane. So it, uh, I have the playable version and the put in your collection, do not open ever. From Walmart, $31.87 for Streets of Rage. So that's part one. Container one, part one. Uh, come back next week for container one, part two. And I will keep digging and showing you what lies beneath uh, the lid of container number one. So be well, take care, leave a comment, subscribe, share, do all that. And uh, I'll see you back here next week.